happy Sunday! And we have gone on a little road trip because we are off to the living rainforest. Where? The living rainforest. So Dawn we didn't know where we were going, we're actually stuck behind a tractor full of hay bales at the moment. Um, but we are nine minutes away, so we're really excited. I'll be honest, I don't know what area we're in, so I'll probably in the video later because I'm Cheevely. Don't know where Cheevely is, but that's where we are. Um, but yeah, so we're going to the Living Rainforest, which is a type of animal park. Uh, none of us have been there before, I don't think. No, none of us have been there before. So we're really excited. It is really hot today. So hopefully this place is kind of indoor outdoor because I'm baking. But yeah, we're really excited and we will see you in the Find them? Uh, one there, one there. It's more than one. Oh, one there. Look, there. It's a really, really long broad all the way down. If you look, there'll be two little black things, and that's in antenna. There's also one right there in front of us. <laughs> are you sure, Bob? Dan, are you sure? Yeah, I'm That's his thumb. You look at the top of the thing. So this is actually a stick insect, which is crazy because it doesn't look like one. There's another one there. There's another one there. There's one right here. But it's really hard to believe it because they just they really do look like sticks. Thank you. 
that one
going really quietly so it's okay. Oh, I can see a crocodile.
I'm not meant to look at it, I'm meant to guess what it is without looking. I'm just gonna get it. It's a twig. Yep, it's a twig. Tropical rainforest. Twig. No, it's not a twig, it's a so We just got out of the living rainforest. I really love this place. It was so quiet. We are here on a Sunday in summer, but it was so lovely and quiet. It really isn't that much to get into. I've forgotten how much it was total, but it was under £30 for the three of us. And it was so peaceful and quiet and just a very chilled atmosphere. Even kids that weren't really running around, they were all being very mindful, which is not something you get in most places. And there is a little play park here. It's a little bit aged, but still perfectly fine for kids. And they had a nice little gift shop, so we got a few things. So Dawny got friendship bracelets. These are only £1.50, so these are really cute. Nice little gifts to take back for friends. A little bookmark, pencil, and pencil sharpener and then I got this little um sloth magnet there was a sloth in there which was so cute but we couldn't actually see her fully but we were able to see her back and what's amazing is that there's a bird that you would have seen a black bird that has like things that pop up on its head I absolutely love her or him she's my favorite she's I was obsessed with her she came she actually calmed down enough to actually sit next to me and I lost my mind I was so excited and I had to stay quiet but I was like bop 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 and he's over there filming the turtles. I'm like, Bob, Bob, you gotta see this. I even had to poke him to get his attention. Yeah, I but I was like, Bob, Bob, Bob. So, like, I love it. I don't. I've never seen that bird before, but I've fallen in love with it now. It's my new favorite bird. Um, and there's little partridges that walk around, and the sloth is free roaming as well. So you can actually see her in any part. You have to keep an eye out for her. And she's most active in the morning. It sounds like she comes down for about an hour and a half, and then goes back to sleep. It seems. So it's not that she's shy and hides. It's, it's more just that she's a sloth and they sleep. <laughs> um, but the staff were so lovely and friendly and we had a nice little chat on the way out which was really nice and yeah i really really like this one 10 out of 10 i'd definitely come back because obviously you can interact with most animals that are in there and but obviously some of the more dangerous ones are in like cages or stuff or like um the zarian. but no they're all well lit and you can see everything the only thing we couldn't see was the armadillo one yeah, which really sucked. I would have loved to have seen that. But there was a toucan. I think he did that was pretty cool. See it. I don't know if it was in like a hiding bit, but I did see I do think that she saw it before it went back in, to be fair, because okay. she spotted something before I told her what it was. And she said, What's that? And I went, Oh, that's an armadillo. Because I was looking at the sign, but she was she was, she was looking in the enclosure, but I personally okay. didn't yeah. see it. Because I, I was behind I, her. Yeah, I think I did see something. I don't think yeah. I was seeing like, I think it was under that like wood bit. Yeah, yeah maybe. So, I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah. So what was your favourite animal there? Um, I don't know, two colours pretty cool. I know. I was expecting it to be one with like the really colourful bills, but it's a completely different breed, which I didn't even know about. So When we moved away and you found the other bird, it was literally jumping around the enclosure. Yeah, I think that's the funniest thing, is that you've got this massive bird just going into other people's enclosures, just chilling with them. Like, like those turtles are just like, yeah, I'm a turtle, I'm chilling by the pond. Massive bird! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, Johnny, what was your favourite? Um, I don't really know. Probably seeing the big, big black bear. I know that was amazing, wasn't it? Mm. I, honestly, I loved and it. And you kept on hearing it like. Mm, mm, yeah, it has like a whistle crying. Apparently, the males, when it's mating season, make like, a firework noise, which is very interesting. What? Yeah, apparently the the whistle they make starts to sound like a firework when they're yeah, in the mating is, season. That one is a male because it's called Luigi. Yeah, I figured that. Do we? Luigi Mario! That's going to be all for today's vlog, but I hope you've enjoyed watching it and joining us along for the ride, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! Bye.